We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Well, don't drive me into yeah, this shit. Right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you, exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. Mm. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. Do you really think the crooked man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. They're right. Hey, You're all beastie. still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Hey, <laughs> the whole town's on my side. I'm loving this right now. McDonald's. Very good. Very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. That may, true. That may be true. The simply doesn't have a part but of the evidence linking me to the... Georgie bodies. was working for you. Bigby got a confession that... A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, mm. but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... It was my homegirl, Nerissa. What are you talking about? Snow? You won't be able to talk your way out of this, crooked man. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just Of need... course it's right. This man tormented all of you, for profit. Georgie Let killed him. Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes, of course. Yes, you're responsible. If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be oh. accountable for Big B's oh. actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? That wasn't me. He was beaten to mash that wasn't me. under your watch. Under my watch. That was not me. Maybe he's right. That was Bluebeard, not me. He was a murder suspect. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right hey. before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Oh, fuck you. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior. But I must perish for This mine. is completely different. We I all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. True. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This is right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Everyone calm down. This isn't I the mean, reason a certain we're level here. of privilege should be afforded to no. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Oh, shit. Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you. Treating you as mindless children. Too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me... Who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby! Miss White! Yes! My homegirl. Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's wonder? she doing here? Shut up, Bluebeard. I'd like to... I, I need to say something. Say it, Narissa. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. What? She has something to say, and we're gonna listen. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was 
afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just shut you... up. You hey. enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. Yeah. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? No. Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Vivian killed herself back at the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. I love you, Nerissa. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. Hey. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's got to pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. Were you again? You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. I could always rip your arms off first. Would you enjoy that? Big B, big B, big B. <laughs> now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt. I think we all want to kill him. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you. enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been I don't care. So, so we get rid of him. Get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment, so I think this we- This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Look, Snow should decide what we do with him. She's gonna be the deputy mayor, But so... she's not the deputy mayor yet. Who the fuck are you, Bluebeard? What Blue about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. Damn it, Arissa. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Sorry, okay. Snow. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. God dang it. Okay, Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Can I whip his arms off Snow. first, then throw Just him down the well? do what you think is right. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think is hmm. right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. fucking get rid of him. Lock this way. God dang it. Hey, hey, guy. I was going to toss him down the well. Silly bitch. Bye. There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me. When you try to sleep. You know, just between us, I was gonna let you live. But now, you're going to miss me. Bye. No, I won't. Bye. <laughs> Shit. I was thinking about my choices. He's gonna grab me like that. For Lily and Faith. <laughs> Rip in yes. peace. Another one of us to erase from the book. Shut up, Auntie Greenleaf. Nobody likes you. Who wants pie? He should turn around and say that. That would have been epic. Who wants pie? <laughs> oh, man. That was awesome. That was amazing. I love it. All right, what's the backlash from this? Come on. Strike it up, strike it up. Hey, Sheriff. 
Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. Are y'all going to the farm? No. I don't want them to go to the farm. This fucking line. What's up, man? How y'all doing? Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf? Flycatcher left his keys. God dang it. Is everything okay? You look... I'm... I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? All right. Good morning, Miss White. <sighs> You're late. Oh, okay. Hey, yo, black catcher. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Yeah, <laughs> wink, wink. Come on, Carl. Ripping trash in the damn room. Good old Colin. Getting that beer. Alright, so she's swamped. I can't really get get a word in with her edgewise, you know, because it's got a freaking huge ass line outside, but but Bluebeard gets to just walk in there and it's, it's not fair. I don't want him to go. Oh, Gowan! Jesus! I should still have that other wad of cash. We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. You get mad Gosh at me. Fucking day. <sighs> shit. Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I gave you money. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> You know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her? Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a uh. willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. He's so cute. She said it was pretty. This frog is adorable. We're about ready to head out. Can we keep What's them? What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. I'm sorry, TJ, but... Uh... Look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? Of course not. No. I'm, uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? Why are you such a fuck ass? Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Give me a hug. Hug me, TJ. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? <laughs> they probably Saying get to stay. Goodbye. Hey, what's up, Nervous? They'd probably get to stay if he didn't make such a big ass scene out of everything. Jeez. Stupid toad. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that ribbon, huh? You're still wearing that thing. Uh oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's 
not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... Let me help. Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own. Okay? Damn it, Listen, I... Dead after. I came here because I have to tell you something. You want me. I know. It? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. She lied. She fabricated the whole thing. <sighs> Faith... Lily and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical hmm. evidence? It's okay. Just calm down. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Uh -huh. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Pulled a ribbon. Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess uh, what's done is done. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't going to let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith, I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. Oh, wow. You? I walked her over here, and I left her, just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them... So that ring in her mouth, that was you? Yeah. I couldn't think of any other way to get your attention. So you... you started all this? I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. God damn it, Nurse. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's going to be different now. I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel huh? that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other. And look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. Yeah, sometimes. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. 
You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew... I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. I kind of wish I never ripped off Grant's arm now. Like, I'm... I feel bad ripping his arm off. You're not as bad as everybody You're says you are. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Wow! Totally not predicted. Shouts of faith. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the little Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I don't know I'll why I'm going after her. Wolf. Why did I go after her? I don't know. Oh my god, that was the end! Holy crap! I want to say... That shit was epic as hell, and I think it did a freeze. It won't let me. All right, no, it didn't. Cool. Um, you lied to him about seeing beauty outside the apartment. You promised that you wouldn't tell her that you saw her outside the apartment. You fought him after the interrogation. Offered him a pr protection at the business office. You gave him a drink. Blah 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 blah. So yeah, he's. So we lost Crooked Man, Georgie, Faith, uh, and Vivian. No, that's not bad. What's up with Toad? Damn, I, can you stop scrolling? Oh, thank you. You slapped him during the interrogation in the department. You stood up for him in the snow, blah, 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 and you gave him money. Yeah, of course I did. So, yeah. That is episode five. That was amazing. I don't know, like, how this is going to play for, like, I guess season two. For that whole, like, let her go or go after her. Uh, But, hey, we'll see what happens. I went after her. I mean... She was crazy. Can I skip this? I'm pretty sure I can. Yeah, I did. Sweet. That was crazy. Um, pick up a gravel gun for today. Continue the story. Nice, nice uh, advertising. I want to see the fables that I got, the pages that I got for episode five, uh, and then I'll probably just end this off. But so far, like this story, like I immersed in it. Like I don't even know. It's great story. Loved it. And I uh, can't wait for uh, season two, if and when they do it, because that's just going to be crazy good. I pretty much got all of them except for the very first one in episode five. But thank you guys for watching. Um, this is me signing out with The Wolf Among Us. Episode five. Let's actually look at... Can I... I guess they don't... Can I look at the player choices for... Apparently not, because my right stick won't let me scroll down. But anyway, thank you guys for watching me play this. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. But this is Terran Talk signing out with The Wolf Among Us, Episode 5, the finale of Season 1. Thank you guys yet again for watching. Peace out.